Hola, welcome to my hike. I'm Kevin, and today we are atop the Hollywood Hills in Runyon Canyon. And I will tell you, this trail has got to be more popular with dogs than it is with humans. I mean, there's tons of dogs. Some of them not so good looking, others pretty good looking. Not a lot of celebrity dogs. I've seen no celebrity dogs here, which made me think there really are no famous dogs anymore. There used to be Rin Tin Tin and Lassie and Mr. Ed. Nope. Correction, Mr. Ed was a horse. But you know what I mean? There's no famous dogs. Unless you could think of some, let me know. We got a great hike today. So grab some of that Halloween candy, some Kool-Aid, sit back and relax. We're taking a hike. When I think of my hiking buddy today, I'm reminded of her amazing enthusiasm, her incredible personality, her great smile, her, her excitement. She gets so excited about everything and she's curious and she's so funny. We remember her from her years on Saturday Night Live. Her characters like the Catholic schoolgirl, Mary Catherine Gallagher, Tara Rialto, the NPR host. And she's also a dramatic actress. She's been on the HBO series Divorce, and she won an Independent Spirit Award for her performance in Other People. And she's written a children's book. And today she's hiking with me. That's right, today we're hiking with the fabulous Molly Shannon, superstar. <laughs> Molly, I was just saying how excitable you get about things <laughs> and you get so enthusiastic and you're so curious about Aww, everything you would be great a great audience for a magician <laughs> i'm serious for a magician yes because That's you so would be funny. like oh, you made it disappear <laughs> <laughs> you went so how did you do that? what <clears throat> let me see it again that's so funny i did you know i guessed it on a morning talk show once with Regis Philbin and um, I was most worried because I had flown in and I was like oh my god I'm not gonna get enough sleep I have to wake up so early because you know when you fly from LA to New York yeah. you have to charge yourself around fast but I was not a very good talk show host most of the time I would just say wow <laughs> wow I said wow so many times I watched the episode and I was like oh my god I must have said wow like 57 times <laughs> you know I say a lot is you know you know? you know, you know, you know what I say a lot. What? Do you, um, does that make sense? Uh, I'm always checking in with the listener to make sure I'm understood. Does that yeah. make sense? Does that make sense? <laughs> I, mean, I think does it's that an Irish. Sense? I think it's an Irish Catholic thing where you're like trying to be understood. Yeah. It's a way of talking where you're checking in with the listener. Right. It's like you know what I'm saying. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, it's like yeah. that. <laughs> does that make sense? Why is it that you think you're so happy? <laughs> Come on. Kevin, <laughs> 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 you're funny. <laughs> um, well, I don't know. I think it takes practice, you know. Do you, do you sometimes <laughs> put on happiness and you're not happy? Mm. Like right now? <laughs> no. I mean, I, I wouldn't say. If, if, I'm, if I was really upset, I think I would, I would show it. Yeah. yeah. You have the perfect name, Molly. Yeah. That name fits you perfectly. You think? I like my name. It's a great name for you. Yeah. What's your middle name? Helen. You like Molly that name? Helen. I do. It's kind of yeah. old-fashioned. I'm not really a fan of that one. But, you know, the Molly <laughs> one is great. <laughs> <It's> great. <laughs> so, Molly, have you voted? Yes, I voted. And I feel so proud. I go to my same regular place every year. Talk to all the ladies that work there. I know them. Yeah. And we work so hard for that right. Good for you. I'm a woman. I'm proud. Yeah. And uh, we worked really hard to earn the right to vote. And mm -hmm. it's just a wonderful thing. And you feel so responsible and yeah, proud. You're, yeah. You're giving your voice. Yes. When you go into the voting booth, do you sometimes forget and think you're in a confessional? And start confessing sins. <laughs> no, I don't. I do not do that. But I do bring in a cheat sheet sometimes. Oh yeah, you gotta have that. Yeah, because I like hearing what other people think and really reading all the propositions and pros and cons. And I so I definitely do my research and have. Um, I come prepared with yeah. notes. What was the last thing you shopped for? <laughs> Ooh, I like that question. Let's see. Let me just. I bought books last night on Amazon. You did? What do you read? I did. Well, let me see. I don't want to reveal too much because I think what, if I were to say what books it was, it would be a little too much information. <laughs> but um, I read like a lot of science books and psychology books. Yeah, but what is it really? I can't say. <laughs> <laughs> but I good. ordered books last night on Amazon a bunch. I love reading. I'm the type of person that when I go traveling, I have like a suitcase just full of books. Wow. Yeah, I love books yeah. and I recommend books to people. What would you recommend to people right now? Mm, 
Well, actually, right now, I'm recommending an article for people to read from The New Yorker about the, um, the OxyContin addiction and how it all started and the marketing of OxyContin and how yeah. the Sacklers duped to whole nation telling everyone that it wasn't addictive. You could take one pill at noon and then another at midnight. And then they did a study and knew that it was addictive but erased the study and just, they controlled the medical journals and the pharmaceutical company. That's what I'm like, that everybody really is, must read. I'm that like is an teacher. epidemic, isn't it? Yes, it's an epidemic. It's so sad. Yeah. I took oxycodone once after a surgery. Oh uh, yeah. And I felt so good. Huh. And then I took it again, like the next night or something. Yeah. Nothing. Interesting. Nothing. So you probably needed more. I didn't think about that. Yeah. <laughs> we need to up it. <laughs> That's get, how people get addicted. You get embarrassed easily, Molly. Um, I mean, yeah, sometimes. I wouldn't yeah. say so easily. I would be the first to make fun of myself. How often do you exercise? I do run every day and I swim. No wonder you're Yeah, we just shape. built a pool. I love your at pool. At our house. I you have love the, the tree it. that overhangs the pool. Yes, isn't it so pretty? And kids can climb it like Tom Sawyer and just jump yes, in. Yes, it's a dream. Yeah. I love it. I love swimming. And I was always the kind of person that would go to hotels and swim, 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 swim before dinner. And now I have a pool right at my wow. house. I love it. So I swim and I run. And when I'm running, I listen to, you know, shows like Terry Gross. And, yeah. and if I get a good interview, I keep running, you know? What's the furthest you've ever run? Well, I run for like sometimes mostly a minimum of 20 minutes. Yeah. And I'd say a maximum of an hour. An hour. Yeah. Nice. Love you guys. Thanks, buddy. Thank you. Thank you. That's so nice. Be careful, What's Kevin. Huh? Look how steep this is. Sure, I know. Should we go this this is crazy. Yeah, this might be a little hard, right, Kevin? Oh, you're from Ireland, right? My, I mean, you're Irish. I'm Irish, yes. My um, ancestors are from Ackle and Clockmore. And um, yes, they, they were farmers who worked off the land. They farmed sheep and they had pigs. And they lived in, you know, the very rural section of yeah. Ireland on the wild western coast. It's very undeveloped. I was just there. It's beautiful. It's gorgeous country. Yeah, so I am very Irish. I'm like, my husband and kids and I did our Ancestry.com and I'm like 99% Irish. I did my Ancestry too. And we come from a little town in Ireland called Fecal. Oh, I'm not really? kidding around. Oh my God. It's Fecal. It's spelled differently, but it smells the same. <laughs> it smells like this trail. Oh, it's so cute. Look at those big paws. What's your dog's name? Molly. Molly? Oh my God, the dog's name. There's a lot of dogs named Molly. Oh, this is such... My name is Molly, too. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Molly is so popular. It's a good hike. Yeah, definitely. Look at how friendly she is. She's so likable. Let's Molly, get people they were, love you. That's so sweet. They were so nice. Yeah. Um, wait, isn't that funny? The dog's name was Molly. That's so funny. Cute. Do you have any tattoos? No, I do not, Kevin. Well, you think I just you might get, get, get the one fake one ones. No, not would never. So no. You get the fake ones that last. I like for the fake ones just for like a day. Hennas? Like, they call hennas. Yeah. Yeah. But no, no tattoos. Yeah, I like the fake ones too. Not even a little one. Nope. Yeah. Would you get a piercing? Mm, no. Your ears, just no. your ears. Yeah, just my, just my ears, yeah. 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 But my ear ripped, because years ago when I was a teenager, I had heavy poop earrings on, yeah. and I woke up in the middle of the night, I was like 14, and I was just wearing big hoops, and I was small earlobes, and I was dragging after and blanket by my ear, and I was like, oh, and then it ripped. <laughs> oh, no. But it didn't hurt, and I've never gotten it repaired. <laughs> yeah. Do you like being home alone? Do I like being home alone? Yeah. I do. I don't mind that. Yeah. yeah. I mean, well, as a mother, I'm always so busy, so it's pretty rare yeah. to be home alone. But sure, I, I definitely enjoy that. Do you have an assistant? No. I do you ever have. think about getting one? No. You like, you like to be busy. Um, no, I, I'm not the type of person. I mean, I like both. I like being busy, but then I love when I have downtime. You could sit still? 
I can sit still, yes. Are you are you out of room for friends now? Like you um, can't. No, no, you have no. Room for a new friend? I do. Yes, absolutely. But I do have a, I do have some many good old old friends from childhood or from when I was in high school. Yeah. And um, yeah, I love like going out for dinner with friends and talking. Yeah. You know, yeah. I but mean, um, no. Sometimes and, I'll you know I'll say I'll meet somebody and mm -hmm. I really like the person. I'll say I really like this person. He could be my friend, but. I have so many friends, I wouldn't be able to give them the time. Oh, that's good. <laughs> no, no, Because so, you have so many friends, and so you know that you don't want to lead this person on. Well, what I do is I keep him as a friend, but I get rid of some other friends. Do you? Yeah, I have to push him out if they're not, you know. Wait, I'm going to throw this out. Yeah. How do you, um... If they're not carrying you, their weight... How do you back up from somebody? Uh, I unfollow them. Unfollow. I delete their name from my cell phone address book. Okay. And I move away. And you move away. Okay. <laughs> did, did you get nervous being on Saturday Night Live? I got so nervous. Are you kidding me? You did? Oh my Because I remember Kevin. sitting with you. I, you overlapped me a little bit when I yeah. was there. And we were sitting at a table. I think it was like David Wayne's hosting. Yeah. You know, and and, uh, and I watched you after I left. And I thought you were such a breakout. And you were like doing all these great characters. And the NPR hosting with you know, Will Ferrell on that show. And, I was so nervous. I remember when I started, I felt like... I was like, oh my God, this is, you know, it's really a writing job and um, yeah. you have to figure out how to get your material. You have to write yourself onto the show. I think a lot of people yeah, don't right. know that, but there's 17 people vying for spots and you have to write your way to mm -hmm. get in. And I just remember thinking, like, I have funny ideas, I have characters, but I just had to figure out how to get, get them on. Yeah. But I would go home and cry at night and stuff. Which like I felt like, oh my God, I hope I can succeed. I was really worried and it was hard. It's very, very challenging mm -hmm. on that show. Yeah. But you certainly But, but didn't I seem mean, nervous. I figured it out, but it was hard. Yeah. But then I remember too, like if I didn't get stuff on, I was like, just enjoy it. Like, cause it's like so creative. Like you get to write stuff and try to get it on air and you're always practicing. And I started to think of it like it's like a comedy kind of art camp. Yeah. You know? Who did you get along with the best there? Who did you hang out with most? Um, well, I'm, uh, do you mind? I don't like saying that because I never want to okay, leave yeah, anyone. Okay, yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right. Yeah. People always ask me, they say, who is your favorite host? And I never tell them. Because, you don't? Yeah. No, I don't want to make the other ones feel bad. Yeah, that's how I am. Do you feel like you have to be perfect? No. No? I think it's really good to let go of being perfect. Well, it's impossible, first of all, be perfect. Uh, give me a break. Who wants that? Yeah. But you want to be... To live. How about, are you okay with just doing slightly uh, lower than your best? Slightly lower <laughs> Where do you draw the line? Best? I mean, it can't be per <laughs> not be perfect, but it can't be crappy, right? That's funny. Can we have a moment of seriousness yeah. on your <laughs> sure. show? Sure. I don't like... I feel like the town could definitely make you feel like you don't measure up. Yeah. Like people always trying to prove themselves. And sometimes I look at people in top, top positions and I think, wait, you're, you don't feel like you're enough? Like, oh no, this is not good. Okay. So I just think you should enjoy wherever you are and enjoy being creative and don't buy into the whole like not measuring up. It's such an old, tired, I just, I guess because I, I had a tough childhood, I don't like continuing that in my current life. I just think it's an old story that I am kind of want to, you know. You had a tough childhood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you know what I mean? I just think it's yeah. like, oh my God, please. Besides, none of that stuff fixes anything anyhow. So right. I think if you can just enjoy being creative and enjoy being an artist, you really have a, a better, more fruitful, creative life. You don't have to be the best or you just yeah. enjoy wherever you are, Yeah. you know? And, and you're working plenty and so people obviously like you. Yeah, well, you know? it's okay. It's when did you me. realize that life was going to be okay and uh, it wasn't tough anymore for you? <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> uh, I remember when I was a little girl, like after my mom had died, I was in Cleveland and my dad raised me. And I remember I was like on my block with a girl and I had like this big thing of bubble gum. And I was like, do you want to share it? She was like, okay. And I gave her half and it made me just feel really happy. Yeah. And I was like, oh, I feel like, I feel like things are going to be okay. Like this, this makes me feel so good. And I have a friend and we're sharing gum and it just felt good. Can I ask how old you were when your mom died? Four. <laughs> do you remember her at all? It's get yes, I do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, she was very like tickling our feet and chasing us up the steps. Oh. She loved being a mom. Did a lot of videos and stuff or films? Videos, home, no. Uh -uh. But I do have photographs. Yeah. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. What was her name? Peggy Keating. Peggy Keating. Peggy Cadigan. Man, that's Irish. Yeah, name. her mom worked as a maid in Cleveland, Ohio, came oh. over from Ireland and uh, worked really hard cleaning houses and raising her two kids, Peggy and Hubert, and uh, really Peggy came over with nothing, you know? Right. Yeah. Right. Jeez. Yeah. So serious. We got so serious got all serious. of a sudden. I yeah. mean, I feel bad for anybody who loses Irish? one of their parents or both of their parents yeah. when they're young kids. Yeah. I mean, I wonder how different you would have been today had that not had happened. I know. It's like getting the rug pulled from under you. Although I remember I worked at this restaurant called Cravings years ago. Yeah. And um, I was doing my stage show called The Robin Molly Show. And right. I, my show was a little body. I did Sally O'Malley in the show. And was it was front before, theater, right? It was, yeah, up front theater. And I did it all over. But it was, um, it was a you know, comedy show. And I would invite the patrons of the restaurant. I'd be like, you got to come see my show. Come see my show. You got to come see my show. And um, I remember becoming friends with this woman who was like in her 60s. And she had kids. And she was like, oh, I'd love to come see your show. And um, I invited her. She came. And you know, I would use my waitressing money to pay for the show, like pay for the band. Yeah, I really, I really hustled. Yeah. So anyhow, then she came back into the restaurant after she'd seen the show, and I go, "What do you think? What do you think?" And she was like, "Oh, I didn't. I thought it was very body, and she oh. didn't like how I pulled." It. And I was like, "Ooh, I'm glad you're not my mother, because <laughs> I feel like, God, what if I'd had a mother like that? It was really critical and." My dad, Jim Shannon, was like, anything goes. And he loved, he was like, that's my Molly. He was like very oh, proud that? of me. He and made up for he didn't, uh, he didn't. He would let me else. do anything wild. And we would dress ourselves when we were little and go to amusement parks and wear tights with wool dresses in the hot summer. And he was like, you look adorable. Oh, so great. So he so gave supportive. me a lot of freedom to yeah. be myself. So that's I so think, cool. I'm so glad I didn't have a mom that was critical that made me act like ladylike. <laughs> I feel like I, I have you, you, uh, I have a lot of freedom as a woman to just be myself. You come across ladylike, I but do? then these characters, so like like even like Mary Catherine Gallagher, when you fall into the chairs and you smell your fingers from your arm, it's, so it's like so anti-ladylike. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Molly. I told you she gets excited, right? Am I right? So enthusiastic. I love it. So fun to hang out with. I forgot, we were in a, a movie together called Good Boy. Oddly enough, it was about dogs from outer space. Hey, the great thing about this hike, too, is not one of us stepped on a pile of dog poop. Yay! Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, turn on notifications, and we'll catch you next time. Happy trails.